What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Alexandros guys back again with another video. Today we'll be reviewing Helsing. Really, really cool project guys. Helsing Inu to be exact. And that's what we are reviewing today. And fellas, this one is like fully audited by Tech Raid, by Safe Solidity, uh, by Certic. They also have locked their liquidity and all that kind of stuff and you can easily verify that of course i will be showing you all of those things today uh they also renounced the ownership so when it comes to the safety you know that your boy is trying to find the best possible projects to show you guys uh, first of all i wanted to wish you a happy new year guys thank you so much for your support in 2021 i hope that we will keep on growing in 2022 even faster let's hit that 400,000, maybe 300,000 subscribers i mean I would really really be super happy if we can achieve that but anyways before we jump into the review guys as always I need to let you know that I'm not a financial advisor you should always do your own research and you should always do your own due diligence because I don't take any responsibility for your actions and now with that being said we can finally dive right into the review so first of all we will go over the website that's what we usually focus on that's how we usually do then i will tell you some of my own opinions and we will see uh, the chart as well we will talk about the price growth potential because i know that you guys are also looking for this aspect so it's okay uh, welcome to the metaverse full of fantasy and horror helsing hunt or be hunted so well you already know that this is about metaverse about gaming kind of so it's really really cool because you lately you've been enjoying this kind of content i've been enjoying to create this kind of content as well because it's really like convenient for me uh, to, to basically make video on them since it's relatively you know it's it's basically cool I, i'm really excited by those kind of projects uh, so yeah housing you know definitely something that i love to review uh, alrighty guys, so first of all you can see the contract address, you can see that they are audited, that's what I told you before. Uh, what else you can find here? Uh, KYC also has been done um, and liquidity is locked for 5 years as I stated at the beginning of the video. Uh, so, so it's lovely, okay? Alright, so the Helsing team first of all, the team aims to build a gasless metaverse experience. To achieve these lofty goals of creating the foundation for the digital economy of the next decade, the Helsing team is working on multiple DeFi protocols and products, ranging from a new and innovative AMM protocol to ZK rollup based Ethereum layer to scaling solution. Join us as we grow from a small cap to a flagship project in the crypto space. And you have the core team here as you can see Nero, the developer, Jordan, project developer for Helsing metaverse, then you have Solidus, Integra, Troy, Justin, Lena and James and you can see uh, their Twitters here if you want to con the contact or connect with any of them you can easily just go through their Twitters. KYC has also been approved by Azure DeFi uh, DeFi actually I should say uh, so so yeah they have been KYC as you can see KYC NFT uh, Helsing you know, has successfully been KYC by Azure so it's really really nice to see that the team is also like transparent and real uh, so what is Helsing? Helsing is the primary medium of exchanging the Helsing metaverse services and apps in the ecosystem can only be accessed by owning the token to mint or upgrade the NFTs Helsing needs to be banned at the doors of Bazaar of Helsing so this is like uh, this basically shows you how it kind of works, right? And then Helsing was fair launched on the Ethereum ERC20 network on November 2nd, 2021. So this is still like relatively new, guys. Okay, it's still relatively new. Has been fair launched as well. And you know that I'm a big fan of fair launched projects because administrators or developers or whatever, like the team in general, they all have to buy uh, from the market as well. Okay, it's not like they have any pre mains. No. They just buy from the market like anyone else and this is what is th that's what's cool about this you know this kind of um, this kind of launch because it basically kind of guarantees or assures you some some kind of safety and that the team is here for the long run as well when it comes to liquidity funds they are locked for five years you can easily verify that on team finance as you can see 1800 days 97.74 percent of liquidity 132,035 ethereum and this is how much is locked and when it comes to ownership it also has been renounced so the contract itself is basically working on its own right now okay uh, so so yes, as I said, it's safe. Uh, we will also check out the audits in a second, so don't worry. Uh, they are audited, as you can see, by Certic, by Safe Solidity, as I said. Uh, you can buy it on their swap, which is Hell Swap, basically. Uh, or you can either buy it on Uniswap, uh, as you can see, Sleepage around 10. Uh, so whatever is more convenient for you, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't make a big difference, honestly. Uh, so it's whatever where, where you buy them, really. 
uh, they are also preparing some nice updates for their game so you know i would be really really excited to cover them uh, potentially maybe i will drop some tweets so check out my twitter check out their twitter as well uh, because they are announcing all of this as you can see they are running some advertisements they are streaming on twitch like they are all the way up when it comes to social medias they are dropping some giveaways guys it's really nice uh, to basically just follow them and stay up to date 570 tweets that just kind of shows you that they are really engaging a lot and you can also visit my twitter as well which is at alexandrus here where i'm retweeting some cool projects uh, also including Helsing Inu all right <laughs> so uh, here what you can see is a how to buy tutorial how to buy on uniswap and then we are moving straight into the tokenomics what is definitely cool about it is the fact that it's deflationary because they are doing manual bans the team has made regular buybacks and banned it to find crisp starting from zero percent the dead wallet now owns one percent of the supply you can easily also check that on ether scan just like that and it actually owns like thirty-three thousand dollars worth of tokens uh, which is cool nice that uh, they are decreasing the supply since it basically creates scarcity and overall it helps like the project grow they have taxation of 10 percent, so when you are buying either 10 or 11 percent of slippage will be needed in order to process the transaction and from that two percent goes to reflections which is a passive income basically uh, you are receiving uh, tokens as a reflection uh, so most of you know how it works but for those that don't let's say you hold 1000 tokens in your metamask wallet next day you can have like 1003 tokens because every single time a transaction is occurring this two percent is being taxed and sent towards all the holders obviously regarding uh, the amounts that they hold so if you hold more tokens then you're getting a bigger share of this two percent 12% goes to the project so they can uh, so they can basically fund marketing and development and the cool part about this is that they don't dump because this part is sent straight up in Ethereum. 4% for the team. Uh, the team receives 4% of all transactions to fund development of Metaverse project. This portion of the tax is also received as Ethereum so it basically doesn't affect the price of the token negatively. Uh, when it comes to audits they have been audited by Celtic as you can see. So this is first audit, then safe solidity as well, where they have also passed easily, and tech rate, uh, which is my second favorite auditing company right after Certic. Uh, they have also passed easily, no issues at all, as you can see, perfect audit, like the best one that you can that you can want. When it comes to the roadmap, what we can uh, see is some nice partnerships, uh, marketing, playable demo better release of bazaars of Helsing, cross-chain bridges for the nfts guys games overall more listings nfts i mean a lot of crazy things are on the way regarding the game a lot of cool updates are on the way so this definitely gives the project huge huge potential for its price to grow because they will be rolling out those audits here you can see their products first of all being the swap then a rug relief fund which is really cool um cool idea as you can see uh, nice initiative uh, the legionnaire files the genesis nft collection the helsing manor the helsing library and solo campaign cool features to the to the game built in as well like i'm really excited to see that uh, here are the upcoming products so the bazaars the legions of helsing and character and weapon nfts so they will be also customizable when it comes to product updates you can view all of them on their youtube channel helsing metaverse which i really recommend you to go and check out because they are really really sharing like all the progress that they are doing here it would be lovely guys if you can join possibly subscribe and maybe comment that you are from my video uh, they also have white paper but they have quite some informations most of them you can find on the website but if you want you can still run it through i'm not gonna do it on the video uh, but just wanted to point out that they do have white paper as well i always recommend you to check for this uh, if you are buying into any sort of a project uh, when it comes to the price and okay let's not look at coin market cap because it's glitched however they are listed uh, so having a look at dex tools this is how it looks pretty pretty nice actually because it's uh, actually like going to for for some new all-time highs as you can see uh, really stable pricing over the last few few days right 2.5 million market cap leaving like 100x potential quite easily 10x short term in my opinion definitely possible to bring this to a 25 million market cap shouldn't be like big big hassle i think uh, so 
so it's definitely definitely possible uh, to see this going even parabolic once they release some new updates about the game because that's usually when it pumps and it's quite understandable uh, but yeah it's still very early and very cheap to buy obviously guys do your own analysis do your own due diligence but you can see what other people are doing basically yeah they are buying in so it kind of speaks for itself if you will be interested in housing guys you can check out their telegram and twitter for the latest updates and for their community and that's it from me for today thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos coming out soon